Hey everyone, this is Gary with Easy Go Junk Removal. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you. From our family to your family, happy Thanksgiving, man. We have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, one is work. Even though things have slowed down, we are um, doing well. I would say, well, is it like the fastest time, best time in the, the season? No, it's not that time of the year, but we've done well. So the second, um, what we call the second month into the slowdown, um, we can't complain and we're very, very happy. And we're not quite through this month. And even if it stopped here, um, it's enough. So there are some, some things that we are doing to make some progress in the uh, faster times and this is the time as i've said in other videos that you start planting those seeds and one of those things are um the uh, uh rack cards those came in i ordered 500 of them it cost me 150 bucks designed it myself um frittered and fratted about whoa this isn't going to be good enough and guess what it's just fine and uh, showed it to my SEO guy and he goes, man, that's awesome. And I believe him. I think you're pretty cool. So let me show you those. Hang on. This is the front of it. Um, I just dropped a picture in here. I designed these on uh, Vistaprint. And so as you can see, I've got all the pertinent information, my website, my telephone number in bold. Uh, I got my colors, I've got my uh, logo and uh, pretty cool. Now this side here, is semi-gloss and the back side is flat and that's what i paid for and like i said for um 500 of them delivered i believe it was like 150 152 somewhere around there so this is the other side this is flat there is no sheen to it there's no gloss to it but as you can see let me see if i can get a little closer <clears throat> again it's got my logo i want to be brand specific and then it tells you I'm commercial and residential. And it tells you exactly what I do. Junk removal, my phone number. You point, we'll do the rest. And then it, on the black, it goes through a list of things that we offer. And then we end it with, let us clear the clutter, easy go junk removal. And this is our tagline, where customers and service come first. And we mean that. So as you can see, It's, we also, oh, we also ordered a little thick. Um, it's almost cardboardish. And so I like it. What do you guys think? So uh, after this um, Thanksgiving uh, Monday and any days, any other days that I'm not working, I'll be hitting, uh, hitting the town. I'll be smacking it down and visiting and shaking hands and smiling and kissing babies if I need to. I'll be doing all of that and getting my name out there. Um, very important, along with cards and along with anything else that I can possibly um, uh, impart to different storages, different uh, organizations, etc. So this is the time to do that. Something else I want to talk about. The reality is this. Uh, working for yourself isn't for everybody. In fact, it's not for most bodies. Most people don't have the abilities to work for themselves. What do I mean by that? Um, of course, everybody has the ability to go out and work, but there's so much more when you're running a business and you're an entrepreneur, there's so much more to it. And so what I mean by that is most people who go into business by themselves, they have this dream, which is fantastic, we all do, um, but it's more of a fantasy than anything else. And what I mean is that they go out and they make, let's say they have a, a $2,000 day, which is a great day for anybody, and they have a $2,000 day. They're not thinking of it in a business mode. And what I mean by that is this, they're not thinking how much trailer did I just use? How much truck did I just burn up? How many, how much tire did I just burn up? How much taxes do I owe? How much gas did it cost, etc. There's a long list. 
How do I pay my phone bill? How do I pay the insurances that are on my truck, trailer, and uh, driving insurances, business insurances? And they're not thinking about that. They're only thinking about, man, I made two hundred. I mean, two thousand dollars today, and that's just a shitload of money. And I, wow, and I've got all this money. Well, you don't. And the reality is, somewhere between thirty, thirty-five. Uh, to maybe even up, to, depending on where you are and how much you have borrowed, up to 50% of every dollar you make has got to go somewhere. And that's the reality of it. It's either going to go taxes, it's either going to go tires, it's either going to go, 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 but it is going to go. And that takes a certain discipline that a lot of people don't have. And it's not that they can't get it, it's because it's always done and has always been done for them. For instance, you go to work, I don't care whether or not you're a policeman or if you're working for a landscaper, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, your, your boss is taking out your taxes for you. He's also paying seven, roughly seven and a half percent of your uh, social security. He's paying that. As a private business, we pay the whole 15 percent. Now that's a reality and most people don't really realize how that 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 all adds up and it does add up and it adds up fast and so when you make that two thousand dollars put it back another problem with so many people they go into business they they live for today and so they they'll sit there and they okay i got two thousand dollars and they spend it it's gone and sometimes it's on really important stuff like groceries, etc. But if you don't pay the piper, he does come to collect. He does come to collect, and he's going to come and get it. He's going to be knocking on your door, and he's going to start taking stuff if he owes you. The government is the last thing you want to do to mess with. They come and they get what is their due, and so that's the reality of that people don't do is keep a record of what's going on. They don't keep a record on how much money they make. They don't keep a record on how much money is spent. They don't keep a record on uh, their expenses. They're just really crappy at it because they never had to do that before. And as a business owner, you have to keep all those receipts. You have to keep all the, that information. You have to know exactly what you're depositing in the bank. Um, you want to know those numbers so you know at the end of the year how much you're going to owe or you're owed um, by the U.S. government. And the, the Treasury Department, like I said before, they don't mess around, man. If you owe them money, they're going to get their money. And so a lot of people don't know the cost of their business. They don't know how much it costs to actually not only run a business, but keep it running. They don't understand that when it's all said and done, profit and loss the profit and loss world is a reality and it needs to be tended on a daily basis. The thing is a lot of people will talk about is, uh, you know, what is a write-off? What isn't a write-off? And you got to get together with your tax person and know exactly how much you can write off, whether or not all your fuel is a write-off, whether or not your tires are a write-off, whether or not you're taking mileage versus uh, you know, what I paid for my truck, depreciating it, and then, you know, if I buy a set of tires, that's, uh, you know, that's a write-off. If I have brakes and mechanic work, that's a write-off. But if you're taking mileage, it's not a write-off. It's got all these little ins and outs, and it takes diligence to know how much uh, things are worth to you, meaning um, whether or not you take mileage. If it's a newer if it's a newer vehicle, of course, take mileage. I think it's um, closing in on 60 cents. I, I know it's 55 or more cents a mile. You can do the math. You spend, uh, you know, I mean, you travel uh, 10,000 miles and who doesn't? You're looking at $5,000 in just, you know, pure write-off right there. Um, and so you got to know all that. You got to sit down with your tax person and then you have to do the hard work and keeping things separate. So you got to know whether or not you're, uh, internet is a write-off, whether or not your uh, phones are a write-off, how much of your phones are a write-off. Um, you know, I can't, 
there's just so many and, and it takes diligence to go in there and figure it out and then stick with it and keep things separated. So I have, we do this on a monthly basis. Um, on a monthly basis, everything goes into a pile and then Joe, she goes in and she separates it all and you know, how, how much was dump fees, how much was fuel fees, how much was tire fees, if we bought tires, how much was mechanic fees, which we've had quite a bit this year. Um, and it's all tallied per month, by month. So at the end of the year, when tax uh, time comes around and we're getting all those numbers, over, we don't have to we don't have to jump and through hoops and all that kind of stuff. We can actually uh, just pull it out of the file and say, OK, this month we had this and just add them up until the 12 months are done. And we have all our numbers all ready to go. And the only thing we're left to do is go find out what our deposits were. So that's another uh, tip. But see, this is what most people won't do. They don't take the time to run their business. They let their their business run them. That's called a job. And I don't want a job. Um, I want a business. I want to build a business and run it. That's how we are able to take time off. That's how we are able to do the things that we do. It's because everything's scheduled. Everything is maintenanced. Uh, even in our personal lives around the business, that way we get a, we get we have the ability to take off for four days a week or whatever it is, and have uh, have a little time to ourselves. And that is another thing people won't do. Don't sit there and take the time to make the time to have a life. And that's another thing that this channel, besides being about uh, relationships and connections, it's also about the connection between you and yours. And you want to take that personal time. You want to work to make a life. You don't want a living. You don't want to live to make work. That's a that's a bad <laughs> that's a bad combination. So that's something that you really want to take care of um, on an ongoing basis. You want to get away. You want to step away from work. You want to breathe a little bit. Go see the mountains if that's your thing. If you're into the cities, go into the city. Whatever your thing is, you need to reestablish that on a regular basis so you're not just Mr. Junk Removal. Time of year, I always start to reflect. What am I thankful for? And I am thankful for for so many things. Number one, I'm thankful for a wonderful wife, um, health this year, um, and, and with me, without going into a long, long line of things, you know, that that's not a guarantee for me. I, I have up and down things going on. And so I'm thankful for health. And I work on that almost on a daily basis to stay healthy and to eat right and to do all those things. So I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for the opportunity to, to create another business out of what you might call whole cloth, out of thin air. What was just an idea a mere two years ago has become a reality and it's growing. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for um, the ability to get up every day and uh, put out and uh, I'm thankful for our customers. I'm thankful for uh, people taking the time to give us a review and that I'm extremely thankful for. And I have more things to be thankful for if you really start thinking on it than I do to worry about. I have been truly blessed. Uh, our family has been truly blessed and if you don't recognize it, then you'll just kind of walk by it and not not understand um, that life should never be taken for granted. And no matter where you are, because we weren't where we are this year, last year, I can tell you that. And if we had a bad month, we had to dip into savings. And so we're thankful for that. And uh, no matter where you are, be thankful, man, that you're able to get up and breathe and to be able to scheme um, and making business and making life happen. It's it's a really a, a truly a beautiful thing when you when you get right down to it. Um, if you just work all the time and not take the time off, then you will miss the blessings of your life because there are so many to be um, acknowledged. Anyway, enough of that. I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and a fantastic uh, December. 
And don't forget to put back. Don't forget to plan. If you don't make plans, the plans make you. It's the truth. And um, enjoy yourselves. Let me know how you guys are doing. All right, man, this is Gary with Easy Go Junk Removal and Hauling. Those guys. Take care. We'll talk to you later.